Meanwhile, Korea's main rival political parties failed to break their long impasse over a special bill to probe April's ferry tragedy ahead of the holiday. But the parliamentary speaker is setting September 15th as a deadline to pass a long list of other major bills. The holiday weekend provides a time of reflection. Our Choi yoo -sun reports. Chuseok, or Thanksgiving here in Korea, is one of the few times of the year when families all around the nation get together. And the topics of politics and the economy often come up at the dinner table. The Korean people's attitude towards the government and the political parties this Chuseok season is rather complicated as the political tug of war over a bill that would set up a probe into April's deadly ferry accident has paralyzed the parliament for months. Keeping our distance from parliamentary affairs, President Park Geun-hye instead has been looking after the people's needs and stressing that Korea must not miss out on the golden time for economic recovery. 우리 경제가 새롭게 도약할 수 있느냐 아니면 경, 정체의 터널에 갇히고 마느냐가 결정되는 중대한 기로에 서 있습니다. This goes in line with the ruling Senuri party urging the opposition to cooperate in swiftly passing a lineup of economic and reform-related bills that concern people's daily lives. We urge the opposition to handle other pending bills separately from the ferry bill after the Chuseok holiday. The opposition, on the other hand, has been pressuring the ruling side to let the ferry victims' families have more of a say in the accident investigation. For us not to continue this sit-in at Gwangamun Square and for the nation to return to normalcy, I urge the government and the ruling party to act. Adding fuel to the fire, the rival parties who have failed to pass a single bill since May voted down an arrest motion last week for a ruling party lawmaker accused of bribery. With neither party free from criticism, public sentiment after Chuseok is widely expected to set the tone for what comes next for the ferry bill. Choi Yusun, Arirang News.